I got you that teddy bear I was talking about. It's so cute! It looks like your twin! It looks just like you! So fuzzy and cozy with a cute little button nose! Here you go! I hope you love it! Yes! I knew you would love it! I have a massive collection of these bears back at home. How about a dozen of them sit on my bed? And I have a whole shelf full of them too. I've been collecting them for so many years. It started out as a tiny collection when I was a kid. But now, collecting them these days reminds me of my childhood. Every time I get a new bear, I think back fondly to the days growing up. Each bear carries a memory. I give each bear a big hug and just get lost in the memories. It makes me feel like I've grown up so fast. But on the flip side, each new bear I buy reminds me I still have a lot of growing to do. I still have a lot of new memories to make. I'm glad I could share this with you. You're a great friend to me. I hope we can make some happy memories together too. Sorry for keeping you so long. I'll see you tomorrow. Hello! Oh. Sorry if I'm a bit blue today. After our last battle, I got to watching some old DVDs I never got around to. I... I watched nearly three seasons of that old sci-fi show, Lost in Space Bar. You know, the one where they own a bar at the corner of the galaxy? Well, I completely fell in love with it, and I especially liked the protagonist. But then, in the final episode, he sacrificed himself to save his friends. It was so noble, so heroic. But now, I can't get his final words out of my head. It's really got me down. Thank you for asking. I knew you would want to hear it, too. The hero's final words were spoken as he sacrificed himself to defeat the aliens. He said, Thank you, everybody. I'll never forget the friendship you showed me. Even in our darkest hour, you were all there for me. You supported me and held me high. This is all I can do to repay you. All I can do to save the human race. Goodbye. Just for a little while. And with that, he... he... Sorry. S sorry. I'll pull myself together. The thing is, that episode got me thinking. I'd give anything to have the kind of friendship the hero shared with his crew members. I mean, the closest friend I've ever had would have to be you. I've never had many people open up to me. Never had anyone want to fight beside me. Huh. I... Uh... I want to think this over a bit more. Thanks for coming out to see me today. See you next time. Yay! Yay! I've been looking forward to catching up with you. Oops, sorry. I'll keep my voice down. Guess what? The other day, I caught a glimpse of a koi fish swimming in a pond. I was a bit too shy to get close to it, but it was beautiful. So elegant and graceful. Um, 
do you think a koi fish would jump out of the water and bite me if I went too close to it? Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> That's such a relief. The koi fish inspired my next poem. I'm going to call it Ode to Koi. Nice, right? But you can read it. Sorry. It's... it's too personal. Maybe one day I'll feel comfortable reading my poetry to you. That is... if you'd actually want to hear it. Gosh, I gotta make myself blush. Anyway, the koi fish is quickly becoming my favorite animal. I'm so very glad I came to Japan. Not just because of the koi, but... Because I got to meet you as well. Uh, I have to go. Too embarrassing. Hello! Study time! Ready for a new lesson? Oh boy. Sorry. Um. <laughs> mm hmm. Dia. Yeah. Um. No way. Daisuke. Daisuke Sensei. Ah. No way! Oh, bother. I've been waiting for a chance to show off. Um... Nope. Jolly good. Unbelievable! Oh, boy.
ャツ。ズボン。カートベルトボタン
Hello! Study time! Ready for a new lesson? Leave it to me. Wait. Next. 
な。な。
次次のの to me.
Satomi. Hello, dearest Kyoko. What is it? Oh, my poor sweet Kyoko. Positively dying to meet them. No. What? I trust we won't meet again. By the way. Is everybody okay? It'll be all right. I apologize. It's all okay now. Hmm. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> 